Nairobi, Kenya. Now, Kenya is an East African country and Nairobi is the capital. But before we jump into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like my post. Now let's jump right into it. I visited Nairobi and it was the first place that I visited post pandemic. Now at this point, I was probably already going crazy because about a year and a half had passed without me going anywhere. You know how everywhere was just very uncertain. Nobody knew anything that was going on or what was going to happen. So I was very happy and very grateful to be able to travel again. Now, when I got into Nairobi, um, you know, at that time, they were very strict about this whole COVID this and COVID that. So the port health officials, they all, you know, they just gathered us in one corner and they were saying, oh, download this QR code and fill this form and do this and do that. They're trying to verify whether the documents were right or correct. And I've been sitting there for like an hour after a long flight and I was tired now. So at some point I approached the port health official and I was like, um, excuse me, please, could you speed it up? Like, you know, I've had a long flight. I really need to go because I got into Nairobi at night. You know the next thing that this, this woman told me, she said, uh, is it a must for you to come to Kenya? And then the guy was like, you Nigerians are very rude. Yo, that was very, very deflating because I'm like, I'm happy to be traveling again. And I've chosen this place as my first destination after COVID. And this is the first thing they're going to be saying to me. I wasn't very happy to hear that at all. Anyway, I did not allow that one to spoil anything for me, Sha. The next day, I did the giraffe center. That was the first place that I visited. And yeah, these creatures are so magnificent. Like they are beautiful, beautiful creatures. And I was just giggling like a schoolgirl. Like I got to feed them and their tongues are so warm <laughs> and so sticky. It was such an exciting experience. Well, you know, the funniest thing that happened to me while I was at the giraffe center is that for some reason, I did not see the warnings about giraffe headbutts. And you know what? I got a headbutt from a giraffe. Yes, <laughs> I did. Um, after the giraffe center, I went to the Karen Blixen Museum. Now, this museum, when I was booking the tour, I thought it was just going to be like a regular museum. I didn't realize that it was a house from the movie Out of Africa starring Meryl Streep. Now, this movie, for some reason, and thank God it happened like that, I had seen the movie about a month before I visited Kenya. So when they were taking us through the, the museum and through the house and everything, I could actually remember all those scenes from the movie and I appreciated it so much more. And so the movie Out of Africa was actually based on this woman, Karen Blixen, who came to Nairobi and she did such big things that there is a whole area in Nairobi that is dedicated to her. And that area is actually called Karen. That's how much impact this woman had in Nairobi. Now, from the Karen Blixen Museum, I went to the Stedma Gardens, which was essentially a zoo. And it was such a fascinating zoo because I got to actually put a bird on my head for the first time ever in my life. It was really fascinating they also like a lot of other animals i was quite happy with the way the place was kept the thing about kenya is that they they make a lot of um revenue you know from tourism many of these places when you even enter you pay in dollars because they have so many foreigners coming in as tourists so because they know that you know this is such a big revenue stream for them they keep these places very very well it was, it was fascinating stuff the following day, it was safari time and I headed to the Nairobi National Park to go on a safari. Now, we all know that Kenya is very famous for their safaris and what they sell to the world is the Big Five. Now, there's a lot of controversy on what the Big Five actually are, but I know for a fact that the lion, the hippopotamus, the rhinoceros and the elephant are definitely four of the Big Five. There's a lot of controversy on what the, or what the fifth one is, right? But that's four of the Big Five. And um, before I got into the Nairobi National Park, I got the opportunity to jump with all the Maasai men <laughs> that are outside the park. Listen, those guys jump very, very high. If you have not eaten very well, don't even attempt to jump with them. So that was cool stuff. And I had such a fun time on the safari. I must have taken like a million and one pictures and videos. It was really cool being up close to like the lions and you know seeing all these animals that i mean we have them in nigeria it's not like we don't have them shall we? it was fascinating stuff to just go on a safari in kenya and get to see all that stuff so yeah Nairobi national park was 
Apple. It was a lot of fun. The following day, I went to the Rift Valley. So the Rift Valley is this, um, I mean, like the, the name implies it's a valley, right? And you kind of pass there on your way to Lake Nakuru, which is where I was going. And in Lake Nakuru, I got, to, I, I got on a boat, you know, and I got to see hippos on the water. I saw so many beautiful birds. It was such a fantastic experience. But you know what happened? The boat actually died, like, somewhere in the middle of the water. <laughs> but I didn't freak out. I didn't freak out because I knew that I was going to be good. From Lake Nakuru, I went to Hell's Gate National Park. And this time around, I was able to actually step off the safari vehicle and take a lot of pictures in the park. I still was not lucky enough to see the big five, but I did see a lot of very interesting animals. And I also got to see many naturally occurring hot springs. And then there were some Maasai women that I met that actually dressed me up. To look like a Maasai woman. And what do you know? They recognize me from Nigeria movies. So these are movies that actually travel very far. That was my day. And when I posted pictures from, from Hell's Gates, people said, Wait till you define for Hell's Gates. Come on for there now. I found that very, very funny. So that essentially was Nairobi for me. And um, my talk about Nairobi will not be complete if I don't talk about the traffic. Listen, the traffic in Nairobi is legendary. As in, maybe Lagos traffic is even letting me work with Nairobi. <laughs> Nairobi traffic is, it was some crazy stuff. I was like, wow, as in, Lagos is letting you work with Nairobi is. The traffic was absolutely horrific. And then in Nairobi, um, the call, you know what we call Keke na Pep in Lagos? They have the tuk tuk. And it's just really fascinating stuff. I, I like Nairobi. I definitely recommend for, you know, short holiday. Safaris are cool. It was cool. Thank you, Nairobi.